everyone, I'm Mindy Davis and I work at Fishback Financial Corporation. And I am grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak on behalf of the Leadership Brookings Group. Last November, we learned about the city and county government. We had the honor of hearing from our city manager, Paul Berzino, which sounds like casino, who discussed the 2020 budget. During this discussion, we learned about the importance of planning for a sustainable future in order to build a stronger Brookings. We also learned how important it is to buy your liquor local. During lunch, Angie Borsma talked about the habits of effective communication. She elaborated on the importance of listening with the intent to understand, not simply to respond. Operating with integrity, being respectful, giving away the credit, and that we should praise publicly, correct privately. Then if all goes wrong, there is an art to apologizing. Later that afternoon, we heard from a panel of several Brookings County employees led by Don Norton. Here, we were able to learn that the main focus is for several of our county departments. To wrap up the day, Angie Borsma came back and led a budget activity. This made everything we had learned throughout the day really make sense. Turns out, budgets are not an easy task. During the activity, we learned as a class what our top budget items were. We were then put into groups and given a set amount of money, which was our budget, and as a group, we had to agree how we would allocate those funds. We learned about the power of persuasion and how hard it can be to get everyone to agree on where those funds should go, but that in the end, you have to make a decision. I think I can speak for most of the class when I say my brain definitely got to work out that day. I have a much greater appreciation for our city and county staff and all that they do. So I want to thank each of you for your hard work you put into making where we live such a great place. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Brianna Dorn and I was fortunate enough to participate in leadership Brookings this past year through a generous sponsorship by Dactronics and the support of my employer, Brookings Area United Way. One of our sessions was very dear to my heart, which was about the nonprofit sector. In the morning, we had various roundtables with a few local entities such as United Way, Habitat for Humanity, Humane Society, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Boys and Girls Club, and Brookings County Youth Mentoring Program. And with these roundtables, it really allowed our class to explore how to become a better community leader. In the afternoon, our agenda consisted of an education panel, as well as Terry Johnson, who spoke at our lunch. And both of those segments really repeated the fact of how we can serve others and how critical it is as a class full of creators and collaborators and communicators to continue investing in our community. This sentiment was in fact reiterated once again at our graduation ceremony recently by a friend of the program, Don Norton, who called upon our class to step up in Brookings and have an active hand in strengthening our area. I look forward to seeing how our class members will grow as community leaders and to continue to have essential discussions about how to build a more resilient, accepting, and innovative Brookings. Hello everyone, I'm Mike Fredrickson. I know it's starting to sound like a broken record, but I am very appreciative of the chance to be part of this 2020 Brookings Leadership class. Additionally, I want to give a big thank you to my employer, WEX and Discovery Benefits, for sponsoring me. Our third session was held at the amazing Wooster Celebration Hall at the SDSU Foundation Building. The focus of the day was value-added agriculture that is happening here and also the economic impact SDSU has on our community. We began the day with a tour of Prairie Aquatech. Wow, what a facility. The science behind the soybean becoming fish food is just amazing. We were given a tour by Dennis Harstead. He led this through their former manufacturing plant as a new plant is being built in Volga and their testing site where the fish and shrimp are kept. It is just great to hear how our local soybeans can be virtually reinvented into something that is feeding the fish that we can later on and go buy at wholesale grocery stores. Aramark did a great job of providing lunch. What was even better was the speaker that we had, Dr. Michaela Willis, Vice President of Student Affairs at SDSU. She shared her background coming from Peru State and working her way up as a young woman and the challenges she's faced. Michaela talked about her belief of dressing for success and how she had some great mentors and peers that have helped her along her way getting to SDSU. Dr. Willis also discussed her thoughts on leadership as it's not just doing what is best, 
but doing what is expected. Then gave a great breakdown of the economic impact this, might I brag, great institution does not only for this area, but the entire region. Michaela provided us with the investment of $64 million from the state. SDSU transforms into $963 million in the economic impact to the state of South Dakota and surrounding region. Michaela finished her discussion with some of the issues that she's facing with the biggest currently at this time before COVID-19 was simply growing enrollment at SDSU. Then our famous panel facilitator, Don Norton, led us in a discussion with Dr. Jane Christopher Hennings from the South Dakota Animal Disease Research and Diagnostic Laboratory, Dennis Harstead from Prairie Aquatech, Dr. Daniel Little from DE Little DVM Incorporated, and Dr. Keith Underwood with Animal Science Department at SDSU. This forum focused on valued added agriculture and its impact not just to Brookings, but the region. Discussions range from the impact of the amazing diagnostic lab, the renovations that they have, the amount of testing that they do on the diseases that the animals themselves have, and the research that's being done to mitigate potentially future contamination as a result of the human impact. We also discussed the I-29 dairy corridor and how the expansion of the dairy farms has really impacted, again, not just South Dakota, but the entire region. Of course, we can't forget about the fish food and, of course, our amazing meat lab. It was great to be able to have these industry leaders explain the impact that they have on this entire region. We wrapped up the day with the behind-the-counter tour of that meat lab and retreated with some of those student samples. Mmm, delicious. This was another day well spent on networking, and learning that we have amazing resources, not just in Brookings, but what Brookings does for the entire region. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrea Wheelhouse, and I was a member of the Leadership Brookings Class of 2020. We want to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors, as well as give a short year in review. I was able to attend Leadership Brookings thanks to my employer and sponsor, Avera Medical Group Brookings. Without the support of our sponsors and organizations that invested in each of us as leaders, none of this would have been possible. So we wanna start by giving a huge thank you to all of those who allowed us to take part in this program. We kicked off the season by exploring the massive manufacturing footprint we have right here in Brookings. Larson's Manufacturing was gracious enough to not only host us, but to also give us a tour of their facility. We heard from their leaders, Jeff Reef and Ryan Johnson. We also had the opportunity to hear from a panel of leaders from 3M, Belkin Plastics, Dectronics, and Twin City Fan. Mayor Corbett was also able to join us during this session. He shared with us his own leadership journey and what makes him unique. He leads our community with empathy, which is evident in the work he does for the people of Brookings. We left this session with a deeper understanding and appreciation for the impact manufacturing has on Brookings. Thank you all for sharing your story with us. Hello, my name is Kelsey Crutch and my sponsor is the Boys and Girls Club of the Northern Plains. During Leadership Brookings, we had the privilege of working with Shelly Bayer to learn more about our strengths and what a strengths-based mindset can accomplish in our lives. So we would like to thank Shelly for spending four sessions with us focusing on strengths and getting us out of our comfort zones. Over our four sessions with Shelly, we explored our strengths in all areas of life. After the first session, I told Shelly that focusing on myself for that long is exhausting, but incredibly rewarding. Realizing that a strengths mindset instills in you that there isn't a right way to be or a wrong way to be. There's just a strong way to be opened our eyes to how we can embrace our strengths, not only in the workplace, but at home and in the Brookings community. Discussing our strengths with each other required us to be vulnerable, which only helped us in growing lasting relationships with our fellow classmates. Thank you so much for your support.